how y'all feel. A round of applause for Steve Harvey and the Apollo Theater, ladies and gentlemen. 13 seasons right here in good old Harlem. That's what I'm talking about. I'm happy to be here, y'all. I'm happy to be here. Happy to be getting older. Happy to be getting older. Yeah, just celebrate a birthday, getting a little bit older. And one thing about when you start getting older in life, the certain sign that you know you're getting old. Like, you know you're getting old when you wake up in the morning and your body hurts for no reason. You start blaming on the way you slept. Ooh, I slept wrong. Ooh, shouldn't have slept that way. You used to sleep on my side. Well, this is how I know you're really getting old. When you go out to a nightclub and you start complaining about everything in the club, God damn, the music loud as hell in here. Why the music so loud? Hey, who DJ and fuck master deaf is too loud and, and it's so dark. Why it's so dark in here? You can't even see nobody. It was crowded as hell in here. It's, too, it's like a fire hazard. Why it's so crowded? There's too many people in here. Oh my God, I can't party with all these people. Well, this is how I know you're really getting old. You go out somewhere and the first thing you start looking for is chairs. Damn, ain't nowhere to sit down in here. I need a seat. I'm, I'm tired. I can't stand up all night. I'm tired. I got things to do. I'm tired. Oh, this is how I know you really are. When you're out somewhere and the first thing you do is start looking at your watch to figure out how much sleep you'll get if you leave now. And you know, if I leave right now, I get about four and a half hours sleep. I'm tired. I gotta drop Brenda off. No, I told her, bring her own car because I'm not gonna be staying all night. She's gonna have to drive home myself. I'm tired. I am tired. I'm tired. Ah, I'm just happy to be here, happy to be here. I'm from the old school, y'all. I remember all the stuff my old parents used to have. Y'all remember some of the stuff you grew up with your parents? Remember your parents' stereo system? Y'all remember that? The record player and the TV all built into one? Y'all remember that? Y'all remember, remember the 45s your parents used to buy back then? Remember you couldn't play them unless you had the centerpiece? Remember the centerpiece? Remember you lose the centerpiece? You couldn't play nothing! But you still try to line the record up anyway? Well, I'm gonna line this up right here. I'm gonna line this up. Remember the way my parents used to decorate the house? Y'all remember, remember the beads your parents had? The beads used to hang in the kitchen? Beads in the living room. Remember that? People used to walk in the house like this. What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling in here? What's happening? How's everybody doing? What's happening here? Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Kids nowadays, kids got it too good nowadays. Oh, you go to the kids' house. They got 100 pairs of jeans in their closet. Now, back in the day, we had one pair of jeans. You had to wear them all week long. I don't care if they were clean or dirty. Don't act like I'm the only person who took a pair of dirty jeans out the hamper start eyeing them. The whole room smelled like dirty jeans and steam. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. You done iron your jeans so much that right here look like leather pants after I'll be shiny as hell. People be like, yeah, you got leather wranglers? Where you get leather wranglers from? You got leather wranglers? They're shiny, they're shiny. I'm talking about from the old school of everyday, boy. That's why I used to come from, man. Now I gotta travel a lot to do my type of thing, and that's scary. That's scary enough as this. Cause you know, every time you turn on the news, a plane is crashing here, a plane is crashing there. But I'm gonna tell you, the problem with the airlines is not that they're crashing. The problem is the planes are going too goddamn high. You ever get on a plane? As soon as you sit down, the pilot come over there talking about, we're going to be cruising at an altitude of 35,000 feet. Why? That's too high. That's why we need a black airline. Be a whole different story. You get on a plane, the pilot come over, uh, check this out, y'all. Uh, we're going to be cruising about uh, 50 feet. That way something kick off. We ain't got too far to drop. Now I'm going to have some rope hanging off the side of the plane. Y'all feel some turbulence? Slide down the rope because I'm going to be gone. The hell we're looking for the black box. Y'all better find a black pilot. I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what happened. But you know, a black airline wouldn't work. Wouldn't work. No morning flights. First flight, 12 noon. Everybody late for that plane too. Plane be double parked on the runway, blocking all the other planes. All the other airlines lined up complaining. Who plane is up there? Who plane? Oh, that's new being here. They're gonna move the plane. They're gonna move the plane. Whole plane messed up. They ain't got no maintenance crew for the plane. Uh huh. Plane breakdown. They take another plane, take parts of that one, put it on this one. You get on a plane, the wheels don't match, the wings don't match. You sit down in the seats, the seats don't match. The seats say TWA, Northwest, Delta, USA, Pan Am, Pan Am Shuttle, Delta Shuttle, Cadillac, Toyota, Lexus, BMW, Mercedes, Navigator, Explorer, all type of seats. You look out the window, the baggage handlers be trying on your clothes. Stop the plane, they're trying on my shirt. They're trying on my new Mecca shirt. And you can't just fly any airline. Uh-uh, they don't fool me down here with them low frills, low budget airline. Planes small than a mother. Planes small, you have seat belts. Everybody just held hands. Hold on, hold on, everybody, hold on. Lock up, lock up, lock up. We about to start, lock up. There's a little ass plane. And it got me staying in a messed up hotel around the corner. Room hot as hell. Ain't got no AC in my room. They got a little brother in the corner with ice in his mouth just blowing on me. Just blowing. <laughs> my name is Drew Frazier, y'all. Thank you so much. You guys have been wonderful. Peace out. Thank you, baby. Thank you very much, everybody.